Although pre-exam jitters are normal, Council at Wholeness and Wellness Counseling Services Trish Sana Puya Rasul says there are two main indicators that your child isn't coping and may be dealing with anxiety. Um, so the first one is avoidance. Uh, so is your child avoiding studying or talking about the exam or anything to do with the exam, doing work, um, not talking about what's happening in school, um, maybe even, you know, staying in their room, playing games all day, um, you know, just anything that has to do with avoidance of anything to do with the exam. She says in the Caribbean, avoidance can often be mistaken for a child being lazy. This child is being lazy and really it's not that it's maybe they're having very difficult feelings um, about the exam that they don't know how to express and they don't know how to deal with so they might be dealing with it by just avoiding and i mean we do it as adults as well right when we have difficult things coming up we might avoid the second indicator she says is a child who is overworking themselves they might be studying all the time or, um, you know, all they talk about is schoolwork. Now, a certain amount of that is normal as well, uh, just because leading up to an exam, that anxiety is normal, right? Exam anxiety, we will do a little bit more. But if all they're doing is talking about schoolwork, studying, if they're spending all of their time, if you notice that from the time they leave their books, they're anxious about getting back to the books, then that's a sign that they might not be coping well. Ms. Puya Rasul shares some ideas for parents who don't want to add additional stress to their children. The first one is don't break the routine. Uh, so, you know, leading up to the exam, we might want to do a little bit more um, for them. But the reality, uh, the, a little bit more, you know, kind of encourage them to go out or encourage them to study more. The reality of, is that adds a lot of pressure. So helping them to stick with the routine that they already have. Um, maybe no surprises. So maybe the day before the exam don't have a lot of family coming over because that adds to the pressure as well. She says now is an ideal time not to add additional pressure outside of the exam. So maybe this is the time to, if they don't make their beds, just kind of leave it. Uh, you know, maybe not getting a little bit angry about them for other things not related to the exams. So reducing the pressure as much as possible on them. This might be the time to, you know, make them a nice lunch, something that they like, just so that we're reducing that pressure on them um, and creating a safe environment. Them. Next Wednesday, Ms. Puya Rasul will share some tips on how parents can keep their children calm on the day before as well as the day of the exam. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton, keeping tabs on your inner circle.